Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh my goodness, the sun kiss is like amazing. And ultimately, thank you so much for gracing your presence here on my channel. I truly appreciate you stopping by and choosing me to be your entertainment for today. Alright, so let's get into it. You know we gotta grab our coffee. Hello. On brand or not. Class of 2020. Hello. Mm-hmm. So good. Like I said, I'm the type of person. I can drink coffee when it's hot, when it's cold, when it's freezing, when it's boiling. I just love this stuff. Um, so, exercising can heal your depression. Now, this does not mean, and by any means, am I telling you, telling you that exercising can cure depression. Um, but it definitely can start to heal excuse me it definitely can start to heal those properties within your mindset within your body and it can get you to feeling how you want to feel now I know this firsthand not just by research but just by experiencing depression for almost two years not almost I what well, it was two years um, so I kind of understand how you're feeling at this moment or how you felt or just um, how depression can make you feel sometimes. Like, especially when you're in a deep, saddened state, you don't feel like doing anything. You know, you, f you feel like everybody's out to get you. You're feeling very vulnerable right now. And that's all understandable. So, with, with depression and exercising, exercising kind of gets those, get your adrenaline rushing, get those, get that blood pumping, get your mind working. And that's the main important thing is that you want to get your mind working for the better of you. Because when you're sad or when you're really down and out, your mind, it kind of takes over. It takes control. And sometimes it can take control in a negative form. But if you're exercising, you're doing something positive to put back into yourself. Again, it's all about pouring back into you, pouring back into the concept of being better, of, of reaching that your highest state. So when you're pouring back into yourself, um, you're, you're feeling good and you get a greater outcome. So if, if I'm pouring negative energy into myself all the time, what am I going to expect? I can't expect positivity to come out of that. No, because that's not what I'm giving myself. But when I'm doing things to motivate myself and doing things for prosperous measures, then good things happen. Because, yes, bad things happen to good people, but also good things happen to good people as well. And you got to kind of keep that in mind. So I know, like, you know, depression, depressed, being depressed is not at all easy um it's it's definitely difficult it's a challenge it's you reach your shipwreck it's heartbreak it's everything in one like you're feeling a lot of emotions at one time i get it but it's time maybe you exercise to kind of relieve that pressure off your mind to relieve that pain from your heart to relieve the stress from your joints so Exercise does not mean you have to go hardcore with lifting weights or, you know, um, hard cardio. It could just be a walk around the block every day or um, doing some yoga. My favorite thing for being sad or being unmotivated or, in this case, being depressed is yoga. Yoga is so good just because it stretches out the body. It, it, it stretches out those joints. It, re it relieves the pain from your mind, your mentality, because you're no longer doing something because someone else told you to do it. You're doing something for you, and you finally get a chance to express yourself when you exercise. So you may stretch your arms because you work them all day. You may stretch your legs because you're always moving. You may even do mind exercising where it's affirmations or, excuse me, constant reflection. Um, whatever it is, you may be doing that in your exercising session to help better yourself, to help get your mind flowing. That's all it really is, is to help your mind 
get to a place where it starts flowing in the right direction of your desires okay because right now when you're depressed your mind isn't flowing it's it, it may be going and going and going because you may have racist thoughts when you go to sleep but exercising can alleviate those things if you just try I and I know <laughs> I know it's sometimes hard to get up in the morning when you're feeling down and out. I get it. I really do. But when you start to think, how am I benefiting from laying in this bed all day? How am I benefiting from telling myself I'm not good enough? How, what am I doing to myself that I'm purposely and intentionally sabotaging my inner being, which is, not, which is reflecting on my everyday life? So, I may be in turmoil inside and all of a sudden shipwreck happens in my life, you know. So, you got to really pay attention to the things that you're saying to yourself, to the things that you're doing, and kind of just wake yourself up. Now, it, like I said, it's not a quick turnaround. It's not like it's one, two, three, oh, I'm good. It's going to take practice. But as long as you're willing to try good things are gonna happen so you just have to you have to be willing to give yourself a break like let's let it go you know give your give your greatest worries your greatest problems to God above give it to your highest power give it to the universe because when you can't control your life there's always a greater good that shadows around it that shadows around you and your prosperous adventures and your mindset and your emotions your feelings there's always something that is there to protect you you just gotta let it in let it in and let go let go and let God how they say it so this is not at all to be like you know oh you gotta do this this is just something I hope that helps that says you know maybe if I do start walking every day I can kind of relax a little bit you know kind of take the load off and say life is not that serious especially now when we're having like covid we're having politics we're having global issues like life is serious of course but it's not it doesn't have to be so problematic in your life okay you can't let everything else around you affect what you got going in here or what you got going on in here you can't let it affect you on a daily basis because you'll drive yourself crazy trying to fix everyone's problems or trying to fix the world's problems. Start with you first and then everything else will reciprocate. So I hope this helps. Again, exercising can definitely help heal your depression. It can de it definitely help get a hold of what you're feeling and get you to recognize what you're feeling so that way you don't have to feel it again. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you stopping by. I wanted to go deeper into it, but again, you know, being in a depressed state is very a sensitive topic. So I just kind of wanted to graze the surface on just different options for you. You know, if you're laying in bed, maybe you get on the computer. If you're, getting, if you're on the computer every day, maybe you sit at a table. Maybe you switch rooms. You know, just giving you some ideas to help get you flowing in the right direction get you to thinking that you are enough you are better than your worst fears you know so I, I just hope that in some way this video inspired you if it did go ahead and give this video a like don't forget to subscribe before you leave and you know what I'll see you guys in my next video thanks so much again guys I love you so much peace